Internal sliding pocket doors. Step 1. Before installation can begin, the timber fascia needs to be removed. For installing the rack and drive unit, follow the instructions in step 2 and 3 of the patio door installation. Once the rack and drive unit is attached, you must mark the door frame where the rack support rail will sit on the door. This means you must ensure the teeth are aligned with the cogwheel. Now remove the drive unit and measure up 3 quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters from the marking you made on the door frame. Completely remove marked area to make room for the rack as the door opens and closes. Drill a hole using the half inch drill bit where the marking is made on the frame. The type of door frame you have will affect the way the door frame is cut to make room for the rack support rail. Step 2. Attaching the auto slide. Once the door frame has been prepared, refit the drive unit and attach the rack. You marked it earlier using half inch self tapping screws. When attaching the rack, ensure it aligns with the cogwheel on the drive unit. Dip switch 5 needs to be on before the door calibrates itself. When the door is calibrating, screw in a screw to stop the door running off the rails. Once it has calibrated itself, the screw can be removed. Calibrating is done in the same way as the patio door.